If you're an app developer, Microsoft really, really, really wants you to get interested in Windows Phone 7. The enterprise may feel the impact of all of these different mobile devices like smartphones and tablets. And finally, the future of data centers may lie in outsourcing. I'm Mark Pfeffer, and this is the Dice News Update for Tuesday, May 10th, 2011. Microsoft's published a guide for iOS developers who are interested in working on Windows Phone 7. It includes information on translating APIs and it's got case studies on porting applications. You see, Microsoft's anxious to attract more developers to Windows Phone. Just 29% say that they're very interested in working with it, and that's even fewer than there were last quarter. It also compares to 91% who are interested in working with iPhone and 85% who are interested in working with Android phones. So Windows Phone is still seen very much as emerging and developers don't think that they can make very much money with it. So it really all comes down to market share. Microsoft has to convince developers that it's serious about catching up and then it's got to deliver the goods. Mobile devices are pretty much ubiquitous now. You're not surprised to hear me say that. But it's going to have significant implications for enterprise software. That's according to an article in IT Business Edge. It could be especially true in the use of business intelligence, since more and more executives want to access data through their tablet. And all of this is an opportunity for enterprise applications companies. Oracle, for example, just released version 11.1.1.5 of Oracle Business Intelligence. The main thrust of that is to support the iPad and the iPhone. So, the use of these packages is sure to increase the use of enterprise applications in general, and it's certainly going to increase the amount of infrastructure that's required to support them. More large companies are considering outsourcing their data centers. A survey by Digital Realty Trust found that only 51% who are planning to expand their centers this year are considering doing it themselves, and that's 6% than last year. DLR's CEO Michael Faust says this all shows how the industry is moving toward leveraging the expertise and the resources of data center experts. More and more, enterprises seem to like the idea of leasing as opposed to tackling data center projects on their own. Among other things, obviously, they save money that way. So, if you're a data center professional, keep a close eye on those outsourcing service providers. They may very well be where your future opportunities lie. That's all for today. Cat Miller's going to be here tomorrow with another edition of Dice TV, and I'll be back next week. Until then, I'm Mark Pfeffer, the senior editor of Dice News, and we now return you to your regular desktop.